All right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing the first level of Sniper Elite version 2 Remastered, just checking out the differences between the original and the new game. The original came out in 2012, so it's about a little bit less than seven years old at this moment, and you're no longer able to purchase it on the Steam store, which I think is a little bit disappointing. This game uh, went on sale in the past for $4.50, and uh, now they're trying to sell the remastered version for $35. If you already own the original, you can pick it up for $10. Um, but this is what I don't like about this type of business practice. Basically what they're trying to do, or what a lot of companies have been doing over the past few years, is they see these new consoles, the Xbox One, PS4, and they see their old games and they're like, why not just... Uh, take the old game, put it on the new console, change the game to remastered, and then sell it for a premium price. All they're really doing is upscaling the resolution, and uh, which on PC it doesn't really matter because you can change the resolution to whatever you want on PC. There's no uh, restriction there. And uh, sometimes they replace some of the textures, high resolution textures, and sometimes they fix some of the bugs in the older game. Uh, but for this game in particular, as you can see, it has mostly negative reviews views and it's primarily because it's the same exact game as the original and you can read some of the reviews below and people are complaining that a lot of the same bugs from the original are in the remastered version and pretty much nothing has changed the only big difference is in this game you get all of the dlc um, but I just really don't like this whole thing of taking away the old game, uh, which could have been on sale for less than $5, and replacing it with a remastered version for a premium price. I think that's kind of scummy in my opinion, but let's go ahead and check this game out. I already played through the prologue. It's a very short tutorial style mission, so we're going to start with the first real level. I'll just be playing on Marksman difficulty. Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. All right, so we have to assassinate Dr. Gunther. So infiltrate the security checkpoint. Um, so I never really played much of the original Sniper Elite. I did play through Sniper Elite 3, but it's pretty much the same basic gameplay. You sneak around, and if you alert the enemies, uh, it becomes very difficult, because you can die very quickly. And as you can see, there is uh, slow motion bullet mechanics. There we go. And we are in World War II. We're fighting the Germans, the Nazis. I think one of the DLC missions, I'm not sure if it's in the main game or not, but you eventually assassinate Hitler, I believe. Alright, so let's just crouch down here and see if there's enemy enemies out there. It doesn't seem like it, so I guess we can go back outside. Or are we supposed to go upstairs? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go outside real quick. Yeah, we can go upstairs, I guess. So the co controls are... Oh, what the... What is he doing here? I wonder if I can sneak up behind him and... Uh, like assassinate them. I'm not entirely sure. I can try. This might be a bad idea. Space. There we go. Bam. Silent but deadly. Alright, so we're gonna go behind cover here. Let's get out the sniper rifle. We're gonna do some long range sniping. Then we can use, uh... Oh wait, I guess I have to wait a little bit. Hold on a second. E to empty lung. There we go. And we're gonna focus in. Oh man, it's not showing the bones crack. Maybe it's because they have helmets on. Sometimes you can see their bones get obliterated by the bullets. Need to be a little careful here. I'm not really sure where all the enemies are. So I'm just gonna slowly go around. Probably gonna be easy to uh, alert someone. Saw like something over here. Nope, nothing. Alright, doesn't seem like anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and just go out a little bit. Might get out my sniper rifle again. A lot of enemies over there. Maybe I should get behind cover before I do that. Okay. Focus time. Snipe him right in the face. 
right in. Oop. Okay, I came too far up. Now they all see me. Didn't know that guy was there. Should have shot him first. Second on this. Coming towards me. Did I hit his helmet? I'm kind of disappointed. It's not showing me the uh, bones breaking. Maybe just because there's too many enemies here. He's down. they're all dead. So maybe you can only see the bones breaking whenever there's not like other enemies nearby. So keep moving forward. And of course you can play a lot more stealthily. You can like throw rocks to divert their attention and like creep around. You don't have to kill enemies. But I think we're in Berlin and I think someone tried to sh just shoot me there. How do I go behind cover? It's not letting me go behind cover. Why is my heart rate so high? Okay, anyways. Let's go up here. Got some more ammo. Uh oh. Do another stealth kill. Hopefully. Yeah, I can definitely see the graphics are a bit better. Um, like, I definitely wouldn't suggest someone new to the series to purchase this for $35. And that's just me being honest, because this game is relatively old at this point. And you can pick up the, like, the newer game, Sniper Elite version 3, and I think there might be a fourth version as well, have gone on sale for like $10 or $15. So, I don't know why you would buy an older game for such a high price. Got some grenades. All right, let's select the grenades. Looks like there's some enemies over there in the corner. Maybe, um, maybe take out the guy in front with a pistol. <laughs> okay. And then we'll throw a grenade over here. So I think the grenade button is G or is it F? F. Okay. Boom. 500 points. Okay. There's some more enemies over there. Guess, guess we'll sneak up on them. Oh, there's a guy right in front of me as well. Oh, I just shoot him with the pistol. Sneak up a little bit further and then I'll throw a grenade over. Let's make sure he doesn't see me. It's not walking the way I want him to walk. I want him to walk closer to uh, the other guy. I think he's... okay. What the? I can't, sh I can't shoot. That was annoying. Alright, let's go out the sniper. Right through the head. Oh, sniper above. Oh no, no. So on the harder difficulties, I would be dead right now. But since I'm playing on like an easier difficulty, it gives me a lot more chances. I think on like the hardest difficulty, you die in one hit. But still, rather fun game, I guess. Um, guess I'll just keep heading in this direction. Not really sure which way I'm supposed to be going. Oh. Oh. Someone threw a grenade at me, I think. Oh, they know where I am. 
Run away! It's over here. Some dynamite. Plant charges on the convoy's route. Okay, got it. The enemies are coming this way, though. <laughs> you have to be kind of careful. I'm not sure how far along they are. No. Okay. <laughs> Each time I try to do like the slow motion bullet cam thing, but sometimes it's not even worth doing. All right, so we're placing the explosives, and then there's going to be a convoy, and then we're going to have to assassinate the general, I guess. Might be more than one guy over here. No, I don't think so. Okay. All right, we're done with that. So now we need to go back and go to the sniping position. This almost reminds me of like PUBG graphics. Looks very similar. Oh, I was gonna blow that guy's head off, but he's sleeping. Did I just punch him in the throat? Did that somehow kill him? <laughs> I just like I just like punched him once and he's dead. Alright, makes sense. Now what? Oh wait, I need to go up higher. I think there's more than one person. There's a guy above. Oh, I'm getting shot by a sniper as well. This guy, like, he has no idea. There's a bullet that just flew behind him and hit me, and he just has no idea. <laughs> Alright, so the, I don't know, the AI mechanics in this game definitely aren't as good as the, um, like, Sniper Elite 3, <laughs> but, oh well. I guess we need to snipe this sniper wherever he's at. Where was it? I think he'd be up in the air somewhere. I don't know where he's at. This is where I'm supposed to be, right? Yeah, let me see where, where I got sniped from. Must have been... Oh! Where was that? Up here? Am I like blind? Where did that bullet come from? Hello? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting shot by an invisible person. It seemed like it came from over there, but... Man, I don't even know. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? And search his body. Get some more bullets. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Oh. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, the sniper doesn't kill me where he's at. Kind of an elusive sniper just shoots me and then he hides. Alright, so I'm gonna have to shoot the dynamite to blow them up, I think. Unless it happens in the cutscene. I forgot. Nope, okay. First bullet, like, did nothing. <laughs> oh. Got an achievement. Alright, the armored car is down. And then, where's the other explosive? I don't even know where I put the other one. Alright, time to shoot this guy. Oh, man, that was awful. 
yeah, we'll just shoot him one at a time. There we go. Now we get some skeleton... Skeleton bone-breaking mechanics. I feel like they should always have the skeleton thing. <laughs> kind of lame when it doesn't go off. This guy's just standing, like, right in the open. Now he's running away again. All right. Bam. Maybe you have to wait a little bit. Maybe if I, like, wait five seconds, it'll do it. This guy's just, like, running back and forth. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. There we go. He's dead. Right here. And there's a tank! I still have my other dynamite, don't I? Oh, never mind. I shoot him in, like, the heart. Oh. I really want to see, like, something else happen. Instead of just headshots. Oh, there we go. Sort of. Definitely a better uh, system than the, than the sequel. right. I think I should be able to shoot the cap off. Oh, oh and that blew up the tank. I thought I'd have to shoot both of the tanks. It's kind of strange because your bullets get, like, more powerful if you slow down time and stuff, if you just shoot normally, it doesn't seem to kill them in one hit. Nope. My sensitivity is horrible. <laughs> okay. Let's kill him. I'm definitely not the greatest at aiming and shooters. Just trying to get more of the slow motion bullet time effects. Oh man, I got hit and it caused me to. Uh, that was weird. Alright, he's dead. So I guess now I have to go back down and retrieve the documents. I wonder if there's a fast way down. Yeah, there definitely is. Moving down, get the documents, and that should be the end of this uh, level. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man. That just looked incredibly stupid. Alright, objective completed. Now it's time to escape. Gotta get out of the area. Exfiltrate the area. Mission completed. That's essentially Sniper Elite version 2, or the second game of the series. Uh, there's basically now just I a bunch of missions in Germany, what? and we have to ass assassinate various higher level targets. This level looks pretty cool, kind of in the different environment. This reminds me more of like Metal Gear Solid, being in more of an open world type environment. And it uh, looks like I have to go into the facility. And there's snipers looking at me everywhere. And now the alarm went off. And apparently I lost connection to Steam as well. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to show you what like 
a different level looks like. Uh, so yeah, that is Sniper Elite version 2 remastered. Honestly, it doesn't look that much different from the main game. Um, but if you guys want to check this game out, it'll be linked in the description below. I do appreciate the developers sending me a key for free so I didn't have to pay $10 for it. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I just really don't like the whole idea of uh, remastering a game, changing just a slight amount of detail, uh, improving the resolution just a little bit, and uh, basically charging full price for it and expecting people who already own the game to buy it again. Honestly, if you already own Sniper Elite version 2, the developers should have made this game free. It should have been a free upgrade. Uh, I don't really understand why you have to pay for it. That's probably why there's so many negative reviews. It's like, why am I paying for the exact same game? It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But uh, obviously, they're trying to sell this on like the new consoles, uh, Xbox One, for people who haven't experienced the original game. Uh, it's still a pretty good sniping game. Uh, the other games are good as well, so I definitely uh, am a fan of the series. I just uh, don't like this whole remastering nonsense. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.